all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. So, we are about to get into Tea Rooms and The Voices video. You did Because they, 444 in the chat, they both put out a video today, and we just gonna get to it. Dang, they got it. Yeah, they. Let's do it. And her friend Rico have linked back up. Now they were supposed to be recording a song in reference to CJ calling them Bobby and Whitney. <laughs> oh no no no! <laughs> CJ may be a lot of things, but he ain't wrong on this one. Cause it look crazy. And it appears as if they are shooting that music video. Yeah, movie tonight. We got Razor. That's Gilly Razor. That's Gilly Razor. It's about to be a movie tonight. Ooh. Hey, we are sat with Chile. Yeah. I'm trying on the other side. The Godfather. Hey, y'all, we outside. It's giving the living. It's giving the net living. G was caught trolling Hallie's. Yeah, because I can't okay. do it. Let me see we else. So DDG was caught trolling Hallie's co-star Jonah from a spam Twitter account. Now the original tweet Not stated over this, Jonah was with Hallie at Chloe's concert support. They really think this nigga got the willpower to take DDG girl here. Not him. Supporting her, and we didn't even know. OMG, a man who's not seen or heard, a man who supports his woman's sister, like this is a real man. Now, count with the name Aubrey Wiggins responded with, They really think this N word got the willpower to take DDG girl? He's not him. Now, thing <laughs> is, this Aubrey Wiggins account apparently belongs to DDG. Oh. He was caught multiple times. Wait, DDG, follow my burner, Aubrey Wiggins. I'm logging out till next Thursday. Multiple times actually tweeting out this same account saying, follow my burner. I'm logging out till next Thursday. As you can see, he tweeted DDG. <laughs> this one two days ago, but then he deleted the tweet. He didn't delete the one from 2017. <laughs> now when you go on DDG's <laughs> Twitter profile and you type in that tweet, it comes up and you can click on that account and it's the same account that was trolling Hallie's Little Mermaid co-star. This account is tweeting that I'm not DDG, I'm Aubrey. Yeah, talk. I know you can't talk, but you can at least get on the camera. DG All right. Kelly, you want me to just give you the phone? Right. Here. Ah! I don't like how that nigga like. <laughs> Yo, DDG is such a troll, though. Kiss you and shit. I let it slide. I ain't gonna tweet because it's a movie and shit, but I don't know how I feel about that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I ain't even gonna press up on it because. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. It's your job. So, y'all, people got to understand, he's a troll. This is what he does, okay? He's trained some of the best of the best, all right? You guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. You guys already know how DDG is coming behind his women. But anyways, let's move on to this next topic with Deira and this whole Kwee situation. Now, in my previous video, I reported that Kwee's family went live on Instagram, basically going off on T-channels oh, so and people that were reacting. 
reacting to the situation Sweet. of Queen allegedly being a clone of Dierra. Now, it's why you ain't put up the lie, up the lie from last so night. So not only did Queen's family have a message to all the reactors and T channels, they also sent a message out to Dierra as well. About y'all, baby. I don't even know. Their tweet was allegedly curly. deleted, so we don't even know if Dierra really tweeted that. Now, I can't be sure, but I'm thinking Dierra is seeing what's going on here, and she's not responding to any of this mess at all. But Kui and Ken are very bothered by the whole situation. I'm gonna protect my woman by anything. I'm sorry, but I ain't. You think you protecting your woman by saying, I swear to God, if you make another video, I'm gonna fuck you. I've made three. I'm not protecting. I would never want you to. Ken went on to Instagram and stated, I'm gonna protect my woman about it. I like for Ken that shit. every this video down in the comment section below. Mother's Day uh tribute. That was cute. All right. Uh, Let's get into this. Congratulations to Jalen. She revealed that she had her baby March 21st. She posted her IG. She said, the best things in life are free. I'm so happy to be your mommy. Someone comment, OMG, God does everything for a reason. That's right. I thought it would never happen and I've been waiting and I'm so thankful. Then she said, my baby was born March 21st. Yes, I already gave birth. Aww. So congratulations again to Jalen and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I pray that you're watching this video from a comfortable place. I love y'all and I hope y'all have an amazing day. But let's get into this next topic because there was rumors that Chloe yes, and Chloe People were dating, but recently Chloe was at the playoffs game and Michael B. Jordan went out of his way to show love to Chloe. Now, a lot of people are seeing chemistry between the two. Me personally, I think Michael B. Jordan and Chloe would make a better fit, but that's just me personally. Y'all leave Absolutely. y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. I now, think let's... Chloe just should fuck with somebody. Let's talk about this shape for us because recently he was alive and a lot of people were asking his opinion. Have y'all ever wondered, like, who is, who would be smashing Chloe? You know? Like, or who would be smashing like a powerful woman? Like, who, who, they got to get it from somewhere. And they single, so they not doing it to nobody. I think that would be crazy when it came to Jordan's new boo. Now, him and his ex Jordan are still good friends. So people were curious to know how does he feel about her dating someone else? Oh shit, she went six foot. <laughs> she went six foot on him. But now I'm not gonna lie, bro, she told me. She told me before. She already told me before. Shit. Like, bro, I'm happy for her, bro. I'm really happy for her, and I'm glad she's doing her thing right now, honestly. Actually, the boy had a grip it, on that ass, didn't honestly, he? Honestly, did something after me and shit, but honestly, bro. <laughs> bro, the chat is stop. I'm not gonna look at the chat, bro, because I want to say how I, I feel for real. Bro, he gripping the guyot, too. I uh, was. I'm talking about had a whole hand full of that motherfucker. Bro, he gripping it. He gripping that. Too. But nah, you know, I wish her the best and shit like that. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? He 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 the, he the boyfriend that she wanted. We definitely be throwing people together. That's a fact. All right, y'all. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.